Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today it's been a rainy day and when it's raining, I am in the mood for spicy kind of food, hot food, delicious food and comforting food. So today I want to share with you guys a recipe that I'm gonna have all those things in. I'm gonna have some hot, some spicy, some delicious comfort food. So come on down and let's see what that is. If you guys wanna see how I'm preparing this kind of meal, let's get started. So here it is, guys. I'm so excited to share with you that I am making some Gilbaka fish curry and I just saw a nice piece and when you want to know if it's fresh it will be yellow you can see all in the bones here and I love the head part so I bought a piece of the head and a little piece with the meat as well I'm gonna wash these up nice and clean and I'm preparing a hot spicy uh, delicious fish curry today to go with this cold weather that we are facing and this rainy, rainy season that we have at the moment. So now I finished washing the gilbaka with lime and it is nice and clean because I scrub it with a knife, but in those um, bones, there is that nice, rich, yellow, buttery gilbaka sweetness. So I'm gonna start preparing my seasoning now here are some of the fresh ingredients that i'm going to be using i have some nice large cloves of garlic i have some broad leaf or thick leaf thyme when i say i'm making this gilbaka curry spicy i really mean it i have five mariburi actually six very flavorful mariburi pepper and these is these i pick from my own plant I have some fine thyme picked from my own and lots of green onions from my garden. I have an onion. I'm going to blend up everything except the onion and I will start mixing up for that spicy delicious fish curry. So along with all that seasoning, I'm going to be using half of a coconut, fresh coconut. I'm going to grate this. And I'm gonna add it to our gilbaka curry because it makes the fish curry so sweet. It takes away the fishiness and it gives a delicious thick gravy. So in here I have some roasted jeera or cumin. I have here some lala's curry powder. I have here some goat and duck curry powder. I just like to add a little in my um, gilbaka curry because it gives a nice flavor. I have some garam masala, turmeric powder, and these are my dry spices. And in my blender here, I roughly chop those fresh ingredients, all of it that I had on the board. And I'm, mm, just how that smells. That smells good. You can smell that mariori pepper, right? This smells so good, like the curry is done already. I like to make it to a paste. And then we're gonna move to the stove and cook this nice, delicious, hot and spicy gilbaka curry. So now I have about two teaspoons of oil in, in the pot. I added my curry paste. And we will cook this until it starts sticking to the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna cover it down and let all those spices open up and mix in together and all the flavor combine nicely. While I was preparing all the rest of the ingredients, I added about a teaspoon of salt to the gilbaka. I added about a tablespoon of green seasoning to add extra flavor and I have my green mangoes I have some saijin or moringa I have some cherry tomatoes 
I have oak rose and I have some more marjorie pepper and here I have my coconut milk blend with water so we have everything to make a delicious curry today for this rainy weather so let's check on how our curry is doing and I think we can add our onion in now because it starts sticking to the bottom so I'm gonna add my one onion that I chopped up we're gonna add some salt I like to add my salt at this point just about a teaspoon of salt we're gonna mix everything in and we're gonna add just a little bit of water So all that goodness can cook up before we add our fish to the pot. So we're going to check here now. And this is cooking up nicely. We're going to add our fish to the pot. It smells so good. Oops. Did I splash on you, Jess? No. Okay, I'm glad I didn't. Um, I want to mix everything well. And we're going to let it cook now to dissolve its natural water. So our curry is cooking up nicely and I feel that it starts sticking a little to the bottom. And I do not want to burn this delicious fish curry. So I'm going to add my mangoes because this is the hardest thing to cook right now. I'm going to add my saijan or moringa and this will add some really nice flavor to our fish curry as well. And then now I'm going to go in with some the coconut milk. I have about three cups of milk with water combined which will add a delicious flavor to our curry. We want to mix everything in. And fish curry doesn't take a long time. I'm going to add my peppers to boil in here, even though I blended some for the curry. And I'm going to add those okra. These are frozen okra, but they work well for fish curry also and then when I come back to check this curry we will add our cherry tomatoes look how nice it looks so let's check what's going on here wow it is cooking up rigorously I'm gonna load on the stove so we can get to see better in here and now I'm gonna add those cherry tomatoes so they add a very nice flavor and they add very nice um, presentation to the fish curry so we can't turn it up too much I'm gonna let it cook on medium heat now until it's done and most of this gravy is gone before I serve it up so my gil baka curry is done and it is looking beautiful it's very, very hot. Steam is coming out. I just turned it off and everything looks very nice. It is smelling so nice in my kitchen. All are invited. I'm going to serve this up with some brown rice, but all those who like it with roti, come on down. I'm going to make you two quick roti before I plate up. I have a success story to share with our very own um, Orlando from Tech World. He followed my recipe for Katahar curry and he was very happy with the results. So I'm gonna show those pictures right after this. And please remember to visit Orlando channel and show him some love. His ch channel is called Tech World Vlog Tesla.
So friends, look at this beautiful plate that I have here. It is just what I want on a rainy Saturday night. I didn't bring a spoon or a fork because I'm gonna dig in with my hands. There is too many good things here for me to pick and mix and match with. So I have a little bit of rice. I have my maruri pepper here that I'm just gonna squeeze the juice out. Some of that tomato. We want some okra in here. We're gonna have everything. And then I have my mango right on top and that cooks very nice and soft. And we will mix up. I'm gonna take a piece because I like the head part. A piece of the fish and I'm just gonna let you guys know how this tastes. To all my friends who don't have access to Gilbaka and I know some of my US friends don't, don't, I'm taking this mouthful for you guys. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys can taste all the flavor that's going on here. The coconut milk adds sweetness, everything. The pepper, you can taste that sharp pepper flavor and everything just combined well together. I have to take another mouthful because I'm gonna sit down here and enjoy every bite of this delicious spicy gilbaka. Mm, mm, mm. So delicious. It's not short of anything. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say to you guys, stay blessed, stay safe. I love you guys. Bye for now.